morning folks and welcome back. I'm out here to do a bit of cooking today. I've walked down to the river in the hope of getting to a spot that I often come to only to find that it's underwater. <laughs> the uh, river is in spate, it's completely flooded, I can't even get there. In fact I got very wet even just getting to where I am but that's okay. I've put my tarp up because we are forecast for possible showers through the morning and um, as I'm cooking I didn't want to get everything wet including my camera so that's why the tarp is here and before I get started I'm going to make myself something to sit in. I'm going to make a chair. I didn't bring one with me because I didn't want to have to carry it but I did bring my my little uh, bush chair. It's just a fabric sling basically. Um, I'll cut some poles and I'll make something that I can just get up off the wet ground while I'm while I'm sitting here waiting for my food to cook. collected some firewood but because it's been raining for days on end everything is just soaking wet on the outside. I did find a nice dead standing elder um, and I've split some of that down with my knife and it's bone dry, bone dry inside so hopefully that should get things going and I've just made a couple of feather sticks just to help things along. It's a good idea especially when the ground is soaking wet like it is to put something down on the ground just to keep your fire off the ground while it well, it takes hold and these will all burn down into embers anyway so it's all good usable usable wood. I'm going to use one of these wood wool bundles today um, and then with the uh, um, feather sticks that I made hopefully that should get all this damp wood going. I'm going to be cooking a stew today, a winter spiced lamb stew, and I'm going to be cooking it in this. This is a pressure cooker from Afghanistan. This is made of cast aluminium, so it's quite a bit lighter than a Dutch oven. And the beauty about a pressure cooker 
is it cooks things much more quickly. What I really like about this pressure cooker is it has two of these release valves. So this is where the steam escapes while it's cooking. And it has another safety valve here. So if, it, if the pressure builds up too much inside the, inside the cooker, that will release the pressure and stop it becoming a dangerous bomb. There's a seal on the inside of the lid here and that's held down and tight with this clamp here. We will just hook these over and tighten it on. And that creates the seal and um, away you go. I'll put the full recipe for this stew in the description box as normal. But I'm just cutting up an onion to begin with because I just want to let that cook down a little bit before I put the other ingredients in. I'm just going to put a bit of oil in and then that onion is going in and 600 grams of cubed lamb leg. Now this is the first time I've used this cooker. Um, I've literally just uh, seasoned it at home. You've got to season it before you use it the first time so this will be its first proper use. I'm just going to get them on and just fry them down a little bit, get, some, get a bit of colour going on and try and cook the onions down a little bit. While those do their thing, I'm just going to prepare the other vegetables. So I've got one potato, one carrot and one parsnip. Just peel them and chop them into chunks. And then four cloves of finely chopped garlic the spices going into this are cardamom and cloves so I've got three cardamom pods and three cloves there I've got cinnamon quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon salt and pepper then in here I've got a spice mix that I made at home and this is black pepper, ground cumin, turmeric, ground cardamom, and sumac. So that's what it's going to give it that lovely spicy flavour. In with the garlic. The cardamom pods and cloves. Cinnamon. My spice mix. about half a cup of tomato puree, about a cup of water, some red wine, and then my vegetables. Well, the stew is quite happy hissing away in the pressure cooker and um, actually that hissing sound is quite reassuring because at least you know the valves are working. I'm going to give it a stir now and uh, it's quite an ingenious way of doing that. 
just involves taking it off the fire, holding it by the handle and rolling it at 30 degrees on the ground and that mixes everything up inside and you can just pop it back on again. If only you could smell that. As well as the steam coming out of that pressure release valve on top, the smell of what's cooking inside is coming out as well and it smells gorgeous. I'm going to give it another five minutes. It's had about 15 and it certainly won't need any longer than that, I don't think. It said sort of 15 to 20 minutes for a stew, so yeah, we'll see how it comes out. I'd normally cook a stew for closer to an hour if I was doing it at home or just uh, in a normal pot, a Dutch oven or something. So um, yeah, we'll see how it comes out. But it smells good. Right, I'm gonna call that done. It's really important that you don't try and take the lid off this now because as you can see, there's still pressure in there. So I'm gonna leave that for a few minutes, let the pressure come down. When there's no more steam coming out, then it's safe to take the lid off. Twenty minutes. Everything is super tender. Even the meat that just absolutely just breaks apart. Okay, I'm gonna get a bit of meat, a bit of that carrot and onion, a bit of the sauce, let's see what it's like. Everything is exactly as tender as it looks. <laughs> that is so good. It's rich. A bit tomato-y from the tomato puree. All those spices are coming through. That is delicious. Got a cardamom pod. Always a treat. Mm. That was delicious. Just what was needed on a cold, damp winter's day. I'm really impressed with this pressure cooker. I had a feeling I would be, and I've not been disappointed. It's lightweight, or certainly compared to cast iron. Um, it cooks things really quickly. I mean, 15 minutes for a stew, 20 minutes for a stew, that's pretty good. So you've got to save a whole load of uh, fuel wood while you're cooking, which is always a good thing. And the other bonus is that I've got a load of leftovers and I can trans transport them home in the pressure cooker because it seals, it's a sealed container. So that is perfect. I'm going to get things packed away here, get this tarp down. Luckily I didn't need it, that rain never came. Uh, get this fire out, get things back to how it was when I arrived and wade back through that flood water to get back to my Land Rover. Um, it's probably gonna be a bit deeper on my way back because the water was actually running out of the river and onto that field as I went past it this morning and that was a few hours ago. 
So I think all last night's rain, it's going to be probably a little bit deeper, but never mind. At least I'm on my way home. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.